Hey there, I'm author Shannon Reber, and this is Genres Bookshop Podcast, and here we are, the Three Musketeers. Are, yeah. <laughs> three amigos. Uh, hey. um, three, three book nerds. I like three oh. book nerds. We are we ever going to settle lit. on a name? <laughs> no. <laughs> we can't be lit chicks. We cannot be lit chick. chicks. That's true. Or, or the other thing. Or the other <laughs> lit, lit peep, lit pe- lit peeps, lit no lit witches. Like... <laughs> no. no. <laughs> we gotta. Fine. We gotta. Yeah. Let's keep those separate. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. We shall. And we shall. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So um. Let's see. We are basically talking about books and things, but and yeah. stuff, books and stuff. So, um, Andy, you are you are in the process of recording what book? Me and the Machine. Me and the Machine. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. Ryan, and have I not are... told you about that one? No, you have not told me about huh? this. Oh Can my you know, like, gosh, a... my dude. Okay. So <laughs> basically, it's this girl that's raised on like a breather, breather breeder planet <laughs> okay okay so basically they're like it's kind of a post post apocalypse words are freaking hard okay they are hard yes post apocalyptic and it's like basically like thousands of years hundred, maybe hundreds of years ago everybody left earth for a reason it's explained in the book okay. but they left earth and they all went like in different directions and the earth that went oh the people from earth that went this way are her people and they came on a ship and they landed on this planet and now they're here so over the past like 70 some odd years they've been um like terraforming the planet and then they got into this war with another group of people and i don't know it never really says if they're aliens or not it just calls them the commonwealth and so there's wow. the Commonwealth and there are the um, Sway Corp, which, it, you know, they kind of, or the Megacorps. And the Megacorps are kind of, they decide for you what you get to do based on how good you are oh. at certain things. And the Commonwealth are more um, believe in being kind of, um, you know, do what you want to do, what you like to do, not necessarily what you're good at doing and you'll learn how to be good at the thing that you like to do and so now they're like in this epic battle against each other and they've been fighting like in warships and all that kind of stuff and there's these gausser troops that get literally jettisoned out of rail guns like you just put the person in the thing and you just shoot them out into space that sounds awesome and like they, <laughs> yeah, they've got all this technology on them, and then they get into the planet's atmosphere, and then they, boo, 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 then they go fight. Well, this girl, the main character of the story, she wants to do that because that's what her brother did, and her brother died a war hero and all this kind of stuff, and it was like very prestigious. She wants to do that. She's been wanting to do that since she was a little girl, but she is really good at like math and remembering numbers, and she has like a um, like um. Uh, she remembers a lot of things. I don't want to say it's iodetic because like it never says that she has an iodetic memory, okay. but it doesn't really call it um like she it she's not like uh, sees something. Gosh, what is that one? Words are hard. They so are. anyway, <laughs> photographic memory. So it doesn't say she has a photographic memory. She's a really okay. good memory. Okay. So she remembers things. She can like clock keystrokes of people and get their you know username and password where they're just sitting there not even thinking about it. And she's like, oh, hmm, I know the information. She's kind of like that. She's like genius level. So she gets put into the intelligence division and she sulks about it. She doesn't like it, but it's very prestigious. Like she's like, she's going to be like an officer when she gets out of school, but she wants to be a gal. So she wants to go and fight and be jettisoned out of a rail gun. And I mean, doesn't every kid want to be jettisoned out of a rail gun? I mean, (laughs) I do. Me too. (laughs) Anyway, so um, while she's, she's kind of starting to fail herself out of this school and her admiral uh, the admiral of the intelligence division comes to her and is like, hey, so I know that you've been um, failing yourself out of school. That is a crime. And she goes, oh, what, what? And so um, he gives her all this data and everything. And she goes, oh, I've been caught. And he goes, I'll give you this. He, and he asks her why. And then he figures out why. And she he invites her to go. He says, I've, I've created a new craft. And we're going on our maiden voyage um, for a 
um, training exercise in, you know, a week or two. I want you to come with us. And if you still, after that, don't want to be in the intelligence division, I will personally get you the treatment you need to put you in Gausser camp. She can't be a Gausser. She can't be a Gausser number one because she's too small. She's oh. petite. She's like too short and she doesn't weigh enough. So he's going to get her some treatments to make her bigger and then personally sign off on her going to the Gausser camp. And she's like, okay. So she goes. And then during the maiden voyage, a um, this uh, mutiny happens. Ooh. And it has to do with this. Um, the ship has to do has houses an AI, but the AI has to be integrated with a human, but they can't be integrated for too long or they become permanently integrated together and you cannot separate them anymore. And so she oh. is the only other human on the ship that can house this. It's called passenger, this AI. And she's housing him. She integrates with him so that she can keep him safe because nobody can, like, pull him out of her. You know, she's got this, like, attachment in her brain that, like, you know, she can – it's very futuristic. Yes. And she's got, a um, like, a bracelet that she can pull up menus. And nobody else can see them. They're not, like, holographic. They're, like, actually in oh, her eyes. So she goes cool. – Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she – nobody can physically take passenger from her. I mean, unless they kill her. But, like – her uh, that would kind of ruin the story yeah a little i don't want to ruin the story but um <laughs> there's a reason why they don't want to kill her so they you know they're waiting for her to like give up passenger they're going to try to convince her to let give him back to her put him back in his little bio box and yeah so before time runs out from this mutiny like against anyway very <laughs> Very interesting. Very sci-fi. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. I told him it was oh, very oh. Brandon Sanderson. Okay. I was going to ask if it was Mbot like if Passenger was Mbot like. The uh, author actually asked me that too. How long is it? It's 11 yeah. hours. Okay. And About you are how three. far in? Five and a half. Yeah. What <laughs> is that in terms of pages? Because I, I really don't do a whole lot of listening. And I wouldn't even know what to tell you because I always have to check. Um, let's see. How I think long? Like two hundred pages. <laughs> I would say probably longer than two hundred pages. Two hundred. <clears throat> two. I would guess five. How many hours? Okay, a hundred pages is two point eight hours. So like about three hours. So it's yeah. Let's see, two point eight, and then um, math thirteen. No. Why did I say 13? 12. So <laughs> 12 divided by 3 is 4. So it's about, I would say, 350 to 400 pages. Okay. Because, yeah. I mean, the Wait, way you described it, it seems like a very dense book, so it's got to be really chunky. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong yeah. with a little chunk. Hey. Little chunk. Hey. <laughs> hey. Well, hey. A little chunk. Look at that. <laughs> well, I do have a cat who's turning into a little chunk, so, I mean... That's and what I'm talking Yeah, and there's always Max. There's always Max. Max is a big chunk. He's Fatima <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Anyway, so that's what so, I'm working on, Ryan. That's okay. very cool. Oh, mm -hmm. but you didn't actually answer. Is um Passenger like Mbot? He is not like okay. Mbot. And okay. the, the author asked me if I was channeling Mbot, and I said <laughs> I was trying to very hard not to channel <laughs> Mbot. But also the thing about Mbot was I read Skyward before Jed read Skyward. Oh. So I read it and I was like, ooh, I said, you'll really like this one. And so I just turned to page one and went, listen to this. And I just started, and this was before I, I did audiobooks. So I just started reading it to him. And then when I got to Mbot, you know, I gave Mbot a voice because it's what I've always done when I read. Mm -hmm. So I gave Embot a voice, and then we decided to just go ahead and listen to the second book. I read the entire first book to him, so he never heard, like, the f Skyward. Okay. Uh, Susie Jackson do Skyward. So we started listening at the second book. And then he goes, aw, your Embot was so much better than hers. And I was <laughs> like, I don't know. But, like, at this point, I think she did a great job. But I don't even remember what 
my Mbot <laughs> sounded like because I've listened uh, that's to funny. Susie's version of Mbot for saying, you know, and it grew on me, of course. Uh, yeah, because, yeah, yeah. You know, keeping it in, <laughs> in the consistency, he became Mbot. Right, exactly. But he was like, oh, you did such a good job on Mbot. I was like, oh, <laughs> this is good too. Yes. So, but anyway, it was a, uh, so I don't, I don't know. I may, I may try to go back and rechannel whatever that was, but it, oh. their, their personalities are definitely different. Okay. But he, bro, Passenger does have personality? He does. He, Ooh, he does. He's, I like he's, this. How would I describe Passenger? He's kind of, um, I wouldn't say stoic or dreamy, but a little bit of both. Okay. Interesting. He's kind of like, he, he's very practical. He's not, Mbot. Well, yeah. Mbot's Mbot. He's a Mbot's Mbot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I just want mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Pepperonis. <laughs> <Yeah>. What? <laughs> it's I mean, it's a good. It, it's a pepperonis. Good oh, pepperonis. Pepperoni. What is that? Hyper, I was like, what is that? Ooh, <laughs> that's gross. It's a new kind of uh, sci-fi equipment that uh, only Ryan knows about. Food. For when he writes his new sci-fi book. Oh, are you writing a sci-fi book? <laughs> No. Not at all. <laughs> no, I, I'm writing a romance. <laughs> He's writing a dark romance. Very clearly. It's going to be yeah. very... <laughs> You're just going to have to tell me about it? <laughs> oh, it's gonna be, Not it's right now, though. <laughs> <It's gonna> be <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, with the, with the uh, narration thing... um. I might have sent um Mr. Bennett down there um Come one on. of the books that you uh narrated. Yeah. Ah, it might have yeah. been the very first book that you yeah. ever narrated. Yeah. Oh I'm close. anxious to hear what he thought. <laughs> um yeah, the I, I enjoyed it. One I liked every once in a while. I was telling Shannon about this uh yesterday. That every once in a while you would talk and there would be no accent, and all of a sudden be a southern accent. Like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> How funny. She said the same thing, and I went back and I listened to it, and I never heard it. Yeah. I know well, you. It, it's hard. It's my dad does the same thing, actually. He'll he'll be talking to his family and he'll have his totally normal uh northern accent. And then he's talking to his family, and all of a sudden you got the jaw back. And yeah. I don't know where the jaw came from. So weird. But all of a sudden. Yeah. It's just maybe there. It's, maybe yeah. it's just how I perceive <laughs> myself or something. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> I, so weird. Yeah, I hope that's was, not a common thing. No, it, it it was good. I liked it. Yeah, I, re- I really <laughs> enjoyed it. it then, uh, but every once in a while, that southern thing, I'm like, oh, it kind of it, <laughs> it drew me she's back southern. in. Southern. Yeah. <laughs> just she's a tiny little bit. South. South. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, I gotta sale. say, there is there is a lot of um, like uh, the Southern Hills. There is a lot of Irish in there, so like uh, Irish music and um, like bluegrass music, they are very similar. Mm-hmm. So I I see okay. I see some of that just a little okay. bit, and it's 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 in the music, and you are the music mm-hmm. person. So yes, I am. <laughs> Uh, for better or for worse. For better or for worse. For sicker or for poorer. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly both of those. Mostly, yeah. <laughs> so it's I supposed to be to for math. richer or for poorer. You, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I know what yeah. it's supposed to be. Um, I, w- I was I was trying to explain my funny because I thought I was hilarious and I was the only one who thought I was hilarious. Was so no. sad. Oh no, we got it. It was it was a sad truth, is what it was. It was like oh, okay. oh okay. god. Oh yeah, for right. sick or for poor. Oh yeah. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um the uh the narration, uh you how many titles do you have now though? Me, um, you, under actually, your well, actually out. I think there is two more than what uh, ACX says. Twenty three. Twenty three. That's amazing! Wow. Congratulations! And, and this was your first one ever yes. in the history of the universe. <laughs> ever in the history of the universe it was my first wow. one ever. Now, mm-hmm. did you now when you? You you got the physical copy. Did, did you like highlight what characters 
like what like all the green ones are the you just like read it I've seen through. where people do that and they're like I could not function without that and I'm like yeah no I just I remember do. like this book oh, really? that I'm working on is is yeah I don't highlight anything okay unless I unless I mess it up and then I highlight it so that I can go back and reread that okay. so my highlighting happens after I've already narrated narrated the story I, so, I got to say, I, I do. I did kind of know that just because I remember, uh, I believe it was Greenwich Village. You pronounced it as Greenwich Village. And so I went and I told you that it was Greenwich Village. And you yeah. uh, you sent me a picture of the note that you wrote to yourself. It's Greenwich Village, dummy. It's like, yeah, hey, that's pretty much how it is. <laughs> and there's, there's another one that's like, you know, because I don't you know there's just so many words you can't possibly know them all and exactly. there's words that you wouldn't think to look up because why would you yeah. right yeah and there was one i can jed was floored by this one i said malfiescence and i was floored that it was malfeasance, malfeasance? <laughs> i was oh. like what is that word i was like that's how you say that word I, i'm like uh, Wesley Watts hit me back. He was like, "Hey, just want to let you know that you mispronounced this word." And I was like, "Yeah, look at that." And I went back and I was like, "What kind of word is that?" Like, what? I was, I don't know. I just, I was like, I thought I've heard it my whole life, but evidently, I said, "Well, this must be one of those like, um, oh man, those where the universe split, and I'm from the different timeline." Oh, uh, what's that called? Um, oh uh, man, the some kind of hard, dude. No, no, it's that guy. What was that guy's name? No, uh, yes, that one, the Mandela oh, effect. Oh, okay. Man, okay, okay. Yeah, I was like, this is the Mandela effect because <laughs> I've heard that I've heard malfeasance my whole life, and Jed's heard malfeasance, and I was I've like, heard mal I I've heard malfeasance. malfeasance. Yeah. Well, yeah. either that or I'm an idiot. So, <laughs> yeah. but nope, yeah, nope. I just... no, that's not it. That's not it. No, that's not it. I just had never. I just had thought I'd never heard that word, and I just really had never heard that oh, word. Do you, it is do you funny read though. The stories before you narrate them, or do you narrate them as you read them? Mm -mm. I read the entire story, and then uh, a lot of times, like in my head, I'll give someone a different accent than they end up coming out with at the end. Like, um, okay. you know, I just. And just be like that sometimes. Like once I get to the end, I'm like, oh, their personality was a little different than what I thought they would be. So I'm going to give them something different. So it's okay. helpful to figure that whole thing out. Like I'll the read the story, entire yeah. story just so I know who everybody is. Like uh -huh. everybody's That's backstory. Dedication. Heck yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I, would, I, like, I would be like, oh, I'm going to read, let's say, the first 50 pages and try to gauge it from there and then <laughs> record the 50 pages and the next 50. And next 50 pages. Oh, man. That's oh, why I block man. it out. I believe there is a writer who uh, works that way. She will, uh, I think her name is like Elizabeth George or something like that. Um, but she writes, uh, she will outline the first half of her book and then um, write that. And then hmm. she outlines the second half of the book and then she uh, writes from there. And I, hmm. <laughs> as a pantser, that makes no sense to me, but I, I, I like it because I mean, um, things change. You don't want to have, you don't, I, I don't, things change for me all the time. But then you have to go back and try to get all those points of continuity mm -hmm. and things. And mm -hmm. so if you outline it, you're kind of like, oh, okay. I mean, if <laughs> then you want to change something in your outline, then you hopefully didn't yeah. get too far with the text. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. Got to get all your ducks uh -huh. in a row. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I, I got to say quick, I got to say, your dude voices are awesome. Oh, that mine or Ryan's? You're, you're, oh, thank well, you. I mean, Ryan. <laughs> you're good. I'm good. He is yep. masterful of the dude voices. He really is. is. Yeah. I agree. I agree, Ryan. <laughs> Very good. Very nice. <laughs> but seriously. Like my when, mom for you. Yeah. Not your dad, but your mom. Definitely. You thank your mom. <laughs> my dad. <laughs> no, no, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> dad. We shouldn't. No. Okay, but anyways, oh, the the very first time that I heard uh, uh, you narrate, it was um, the, uh, let's see, it was the, 
little sample thingy that uh, was what you tried out for. And, right, the audition. You know, yes, the audition. There, where, where, words, words, words are hard. hard. Words are, they are. That should be the well, title of this episode. Words are hard. Words are, I will do that. That will be its title. Right. Did I tell you that I said that in the middle of graduation last year? Like I was like reading, like Erin was there, like all the seniors are up on the stage and I was like reading this stupid little thing. And then I just like, I was like, blah, blah, blah. and I stopped and I looked at everybody and I went, words are hard. And then I just like tried again. And like every single student that I had that was in the audience went, oh, she say that? I was like, what? I still have a personality. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gotta play it off. Anyway. Okay. Anyway. So, yeah. The, the audition, audition that you did for me. Um. Mm -hmm. You did the Shane voice, and I was like, "Yeah, okay, I, I like that." Um, but then um, you did. It was the very first section. It's where Fintan. Uh, you you meet Fintan, and mm -hmm. um, you realize what a horrible dingy he is. And uh, your voice for him, I was like. I liked her voice when she was just doing Shane, but mm -hmm. then I heard Fintan. I was like. This woman is masterful. <sighs> this oh. is perfection. Like, <sighs> I, I I, made Joel listen to it like four different oh, times. He's God. like, yeah, it was good the first time. Like, <laughs> yeah, but listen to it again. Because, it, I mean, and then, uh, then you kept going with the dude voices. And I was just, I was all kinds of impressed. And I've always oh. been impressed with your ability to do dude voices as a person who cannot do a dude voice to save my life. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't yeah. do a girl voice. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, guys do in girl voices. Yeah, see, that's what guys do for girl voices. And uh -huh. girls go, generally go, <laughs> just, uh, no, no, it sounds like I'm making fun of my husband. I mean, I'll use that voice when I'm making fun of Jed. He's like, do I really talk like that? Yes. Yes. Duh. <laughs> but I don't want to go to the store. Or, you know, whatever. Whatever. Well, he, it is. He's suddenly from New York. <laughs> yeah, he's from New York. He's not from. <laughs> Louisiana. 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 Oh man. Oh man. You should hear his sister. Her accent is thick. Oh, it is jealous. thick. I think Light I did. <laughs> yeah, no, please. Come on. Get her in the closet. She, Come on. She not what if she were here, I would. And she and she would just go, oh, Y'all are so funny. I don't know what y'all are talking about. Y'all just want me to read out the phone book. All right. I mean, I guess. I'm like Reba McIntyre. <laughs> Ever sing just a single mom who works too hard, who loves her kids and never stops. Is she a survivor? Thank you, Ryan. Oh, thank you. She's a that, survivor. that was beautiful. She that was beautiful, yes. Ryan. Well, well done. <laughs> Next hit single. <laughs> Ryan, 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 Ryan. Oh. I don't know if you know this. I think I have told yeah. you this. My friend oh. Marty, my friend Marty uh oh. wrote wrote a song yeah, uh, saw, that is supposed to be baby. for ah it's supposed to be a, like advertising for the Through the Mist series. And I wrote the lyrics and Andy is going to sing said lyrics. And I am <laughs> so excited for this to happen. I sing sometimes. From I'm ecstatic. You, you, Marty, all need to be on the podcast one week. And I can, just, I can just be in the bathroom or do whatever. <laughs> I, I don't know what I can do. I just won't be there. There's other places than the there bathroom. There are other places than the bathroom. It's true. It's true. <laughs> I don't know. You got some against Marty? No. Oh, well, then why no. would you be no, in the I'm bathroom? I was thinking you guys, yeah. Okay. Oh, because we can nerd you... out and you'll be like, yeah, okay, I can't contribute to this guy. I got you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you totally could. Right. I just heard you singing Re Reba McIntyre. I mean, yeah, exactly. Come on, dude. That's what I bring to the table. You guys are all, oh, I yeah. <laughs> next, yeah. time, next time, it's going to be fancy. I know absolutely nothing about music. Like, you I know what I like. I know what I like. I know what I don't. Don't let me down. <laughs> There you go. That one I know. I know that yeah. one too. <laughs> you know, he might have been born just plain white trash, but fancy wasn't his name. <laughs> Look at him. Fancy, don't let me down. <laughs> that that was the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. That was pretty good. Working on my good yeah. voice. Mm. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. The trick, and the trick to it is actually really easy. Like I don't. I don't think about it too much. I don't overthink it because if I overthink it, it's going to be, you know, garbage. But <laughs> um, so 
I I have a uh one of my characters right now, and he's British, but he's a male. And everything that I do isn't really much different than what I would say normally. I use the accent, yes, but I go down at the end of my sentences, you see. Right, exactly. But if I were to go up, then you would think that I were a female. That is a very, yes. With a deeper voice. Yes, exactly. So women, just in the end, right, go up, right. men do, yes. go down. We do. Yeah. You are, well, oh, look, I just did it. Look at you. See? Yeah, and I know. Sing whatever the, voice. Leave a song. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, that, take yeah it down I, I get that. I've actually I've actually heard other people say that. But mm -hmm. I mean, I have a 12 year old's voice. And so you don't. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's really it's it's one of those things. Like I know that I sound like a little kid. And I uh, know. I know. I, I, it's, I'm, it's your fault. It's your fault. You're Southern in me. <laughs> oh, gosh. What can I say? <laughs> but anyways, anyways, the whole point of all this was to tell you that at some point in the very near future, as soon as uh, Marty finishes the mastering of his uh, uh, the song, and actually, I think we have to figure out copyright stuff, too. I, I don't know if it's legal for me to use his song unless I have something written. I'm going to talk to my attorney. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think he's going to help me, but it, you know, it's going to depend on um, if Marty created it completely of his own brain. And there is, there was some that he, uh, that he used from other people's stuff. Like, uh, but the, the one thing that he told me about was, uh, it was, oh, balls. Hold on. It was it's not promo what am i trying to say um Professional, um no free. royalty free royalty free royalty ah. free yes mm. so that was that was one of the gotcha. things that he said but he said that that person uh did need to be mentioned right so so i don't i don't know what i have to fun. do but i'm once i figure that out and um I would say, uh, like, whenever you put it in the video, you just have to mention them. Like, yeah. music. Yeah. At the, you know, at the very um, bad. Just like. Yeah. <laughs> music by Marty and. Marty and. and whoever and he used. Man, and Marty, Brandy, Brandy Balefire. Yeah. And uh, song yeah. by me. Uh, hey. Lyrics by Shannon Reaver. There you go. It's just stuff like that. <laughs> I I think I'm really excited about it. And he, he keeps, like, he keeps coming into the shop and he's like, this song is so amazing. Like, that's awesome. Have you mastered it yet? <laughs> um, not yet. Okay. Um, is that how he talks? No. Um, um, not yet. Not yet. Uh, not yeah. yet. Not yet. No. I, I don't, I don't Where's know. my car? How do, how do I do a dude voice? Hold on. I have to, uh, I don't know. I can't. Uh, you, you're the. Throw in your chest, it. Shannon. <laughs> I can do a Reba McIntyre voice. Yeah, we got fancy over here. He's working on it. I, mean, I only know two Reba songs. Okay, okay. <laughs> Those are the two. <laughs> Those are the two. I managed to mention both of them. Oh, gosh. Yeah. You know, uh, what was that one? Night the Lights Went That's Out in Georgia? Oh, I know that don't one. Know. That's the night that they hung an innocent man. Yes. I remember That's a cover, that. though. Don't. Uh huh? I think that's. I think she covered it. That's mm -hmm. that's fancy yeah, okay. and uh, from the from the Reba show. Which... Yeah, yeah, the one from the Reba show. Everybody knows that one. I don't know the Reba show. Well, it was. It was like you need to the one thing was... <laughs> It's on the Hallmark Channel in like seven o'clock in the morning. Okay. All right. I. I. Will, yeah. We'll work that into our schedule. On free <laughs> beef for streaming for free. <laughs> Mary, it's Barbara Jean. She's there. Okay. Oh yeah, she's that ditzy blonde chick. Yeah, she's the one okay. who woke the family up. That's why Reba's oh, now yeah, single she's mom still, who just Yeah, hard. she's still Reba's husband. I remember. I, yeah, I watched a few awesome. episodes way back in the day when I lived like with my mom. You know, because I was a child. Because <laughs> you were and a child. That's what she. That's what was on TV. And yeah. I was, and I would watch half an episode and go, 
Okay, I'm going to my room to read. <laughs> this is good. It's like quality television. She solves all the world's problems in less than a <laughs> She does. Bless her heart. <laughs> okay, so um, we got to we gotta uh, get going. Right, we got to wrap it up. I need to know what you guys are reading. I need well, to know. Ryan, what's uh, reading? I'm reading a baseball book called The Power, and it's all about, yeah, it's about uh, Bud Seeley, the former commissioner, and when uh, in the mid, late 90s, early 2000s, how baseball grew. So, uh, opening day's tomorrow, so I'd like to read oh, a baseball book okay. for opening day. Yeah. Oh. It's like super thick. It's like 600 pages. I'm at like Ew. 200. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh go braves but i'm work i'm not i'm not working as much so when i at work and there is you know some downtime mm -hmm. i find myself more reading a book instead of just uh, like just watching tv like reba or something oh, yeah, yeah not watching reba is a good idea yeah. well one of the one of my individuals <laughs> that we put it on for him he he loves it it's his it's his jam okay that's good, good. okay that's, Andy, what... That's what the staff says so okay <laughs> andy what you reading I am reading Death's End, which is the third book after um, Trisolaris, uh, the three body problem. And what are you thinking of it? Uh, oh, I, I love it. I hate one of the hate uh, one <laughs> of the characters. Hate her. She, she is awful. Say that. I you can't believe. She, no, you, Ryan. I, I'm gonna not. To I'm not gonna up. curse. I can't curse. <laughs> you hate her. Uh, are are you supposed to hate her? Or, yes. or are you? I think you okay. are, you because there's absolutely no way. <laughs> like she was either written so that you can hate her, or she was written as the because like what she does is she she goes to sleep. She goes into hibernation. She wakes up, and then she goes, oh, but don't do that so they don't do that and then she goes back into hibernation oh, I hate her so much. why are they listening to the sleepy girl huh you, uh, sleepy girl no, oh that's what i'm saying like yeah she's just like, see, everybody thinks of her like she's a queen like and they oh. preserve her in hibernation and then she goes i feel really bad for killing all those people with my decision so i think i'm just gonna go back to bed so i don't have to think about it You've all been there. Well, <laughs> and, now, and now the entire solar system is gone has been flattened into the second dimension and guess who's still alive chung sleepy sheen girl. sleepy girl <laughs> chung sheen sleepy and i'm girl. going oh it's part bear because all that hibernation <laughs> she has to be a bear yeah you do have to you wonder think. you would think ever since <laughs> she got introduced into the story every time she does something i'm like what a selfish piece of <laughs> i can't curse i know but <laughs> oh she makes me see she elicits such negative emotions within me so there you go that's a good oh. one good I job like author it. good job because author like you know her. who i <laughs> Reading reading the book I I've been reading um, that has a lot of owners owners mm. for baseball George Steinbrenner I'm sure oh. you've heard of George Steinbrenner from like Seinfeld episode yeah, yeah he was a, not a very nice guy like he is the epitome surprise, of toxic surprise. work environment yeah oh, so, interesting yeah. so before I was like oh yeah he's just kind of a big character no he's a <laughs> giant jerk. Giant People, jerk face, yeah. So he, um, I don't want to get too far. Uh, yeah, we got to close up, dude. Oh, anyways, <laughs> sorry. To leave their desk or go to the bathroom on the off chance that he might call, and they're not there at his desk, their oh desk. So they'll they'll be immediately fired. Wow, awful. Yeah, yeah. and that's a real yeah. person. That really sucks. Yeah, this well, is why I yeah. like fantasy. I like fantasy yeah, he, because the hibernating lady, she doesn't exist. I, I don't have really hate her. <laughs> yeah. George, George Steinberg, what's his face? Doesn't ex it doesn't exist anymore. He's dead. Well, oh, he well, did, dead. though. So, I mean. <laughs> okay, Yikes. All right. Okay, Shannon, what's so, you reading? Oh, um, mine is a really naughty book that I started <gasps> listening to. 
Um, it's uh, yes. uh, <laughs> oh, this this uh, this author. Her name is Eva Chase, and um, I just got it off the um, Audible Plus catalog. And you know, I I've I've read her stuff before. It's 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 spicy. Let's call it spicy. And mm -hmm. um, it's uh, it's a fun story. Like uh, if you could cut out all of the um canoodling. I would like it a lot more, but it would not be an Eva Chase book that way. <laughs> Noodling. Noodling, yeah. It's a nice way. Yeah. I yeah. figure it's classier. Yeah. It on that note. <laughs> on that note. Thank Classic you for that note. <laughs> All right, guys. So it has been lovely chatting with you. It has been lovely. Andy, um, I really hope uh, your the rest of your narration goes splendor for us, Lee. Ryan, I hope work goes well and that your um George Steinbrenner or whatever it is book it's called the thrills you. I should get to here. Uh <laughs> it's called The Game Inside the Secret World of Major League Baseball's Power Brokers by John Pesia. I can't wow. pronounce names. Words are hard. Wow. Last name that is harder. That is quite a title. <laughs> there's a colon in it. Oh, there's, there's even no, a colon. A full colon. Oh. <laughs> it's a full colon, not a semicolon. Full colon. Uh, not a regular colon. Either. Not a regular one. No, no. regular. A regular colon, not oh, a, regular. a semicolon. Well, not a colon. <laughs> Well, what's, oh. colon, <laughs> two dots is the two colon. Two dots and then uh, the dot and dots, comma. Right? Yeah, depending on yeah. If we're the the about comma it. one, that's a semicolon, right? <laughs> semicolon, correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, this is full colon. It's a kind of oh, it's goodness. full colon. Wow. It's a full colon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you need a colonoscopy. It's a, All it's right. A, it's an we, overflowing <laughs> colon. Who decided that? Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, so on that note, now, I mean, we ended on a different note. And Snowflake, too. Yes. And now, <laughs> All right, guys. I mow. Yes, yes. Have fun mowing. Yes, I will, always. <laughs> All right. See you guys. Bye. See ya.